This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too crazy about reading, and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. When she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me. Please, wait. Why does he always do that? This is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello? We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. pull tricks like that. Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Dog! You stay back, you... you dog! And you, kid! Give him back! What do you mean? The Blastia! The Blastia! Give him back to me! What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. 
What? Maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Core could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finish chatting? Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened over here. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! Your name is Estelle's, right? Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble Estelle's. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, I think that Yuri is a good person. And really, I don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Estelle's. She's tough.
Pete's getting really good at handling items, don't you think? Yeah, but I don't want to eat any gels that have been in a dog's mouth. He said, come on, don't be like that. If things go bad, take it. That's one big mouth he's... Wait a minute. Did he really say that? All I heard him do was bark. Stick around long enough and you'll figure him out. Right, Repeat? <laughs> you look a little jealous, Rita. <laughs> no way.
These are the Shikos ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Could be. Hey, over here. Hurry up. I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, Thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in? How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the Underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The Underground? Recently, an entrance to an Underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation. But it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? You have to put your shoulder into it. Um, right. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Carol, are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <sighs> okay, here we go. 